Oh, here we go. Penguins and the Islanders, two teams separated by just four points in the East Division. Off we go. And at the start of this two-game set, and the Pens meet the Isles for the seventh time. Pittsburgh has won four of the six. Wallstrom worked it back to Pellick. Ryan Ford, a lot of room. Fires. Stopped by Jari. Who's puck right in front. It's tipped up. And a penalty will be called. Period goal from Radim Zahorna. So his first NHL goal, a game winner. Look up Sam Lafferty. Pulls up right over to Gaudreau. He scores! Freddy Gaudreau! His first is a peg one. It's 1-0. He sets up the play to Pedersen, quick up. Look at the tip, and Lafferty's in flight. And he makes a beautiful sauce play to Goudreau, scores over the glove of Sorokin. We saw him make a play, Lafferty a sauce pass to Rodriguez a couple of games ago. Now to Goudreau, and look at that soft release up and by the glove hand. That first goal against the Islanders, always so important. It's now four straight games, the Penguins take a one nothing lead. They are 10-3 and 1 when they score first. Heavy blast from Pollock. Gorvillier, Ryan Pollock with the fake. Now he shoots and it goes wide. Push back here from the Islanders. Tipped on goal pad save by Jari and right to Rust. And now Jordan Everly taps it forward. Matt Barzell, he's been in a scoring drought lately. Drives toward the net here, cuts in and going to get a clean shot off. And Mike Sullivan knows that. And the team knows they need these players right now if they're going to continue to have the success they're having. And he's now nine different goal scorers in the last two plus games. Andy Green to the middle. Goes in the traffic. Blocked by Marino. Will guide it to center ice. Letty is tied for second on the team. He's got 23 points. John Gabriel Pajot. Out to center for Wallstrom. He got it past the red line. Flying in the can. Maintains his balance, drops it off. Rodriguez shoots, he scores! Evan Rodriguez, and it's 2 nothing. And the Penguins were able to use that empty ice to get that line and come right back to McCann. And there's Rodriguez with a little bit of traffic in front. So great job all the way around. And there's Rodriguez right through the wickets of the forward and by everybody else. There's a screen by the Islanders own man. By the way, the Islanders were a point behind the Penguins in that save percentage, 927. But that'll go down after the Penguins score two goals on four shots. They added one in the first period of play. They go low to high, Ryan Pollock. Two shots on goal in the first period. Now Bobillier shooting. That's knocked down. And pinball back off the post. Many chances. This is the end of the power play for the Islanders. As the puck comes through off the screen of Martin, the back door, it went off the legs of Barzell and almost went in on the short side. You can see Goudreau tried to clear it. It hit Barzell in the leg. Play chance number two for Pittsburgh. Failed to register a shot in that first opportunity. Latang walks the line, fake shoots off a couple of sticks, puck was loose, Sorokin fights it out, puck goes in, they score! And it's 3-0 for the Pens! Let's take a look as this puck comes into the left pad of Sorokin. I love the fake there by Latang to create the lane, it went off Gensel. There's Sid, there's the backhand, and it went right through the defenseman's legs. He's trying to play net, Mayfield behind Sidney Crosby. He couldn't stop it. He got up there tight against the post, tried to squeeze his legs. There's the backhand by Crosby. Three different goal scores, number one power play unit on. Good speed from Gensel off the line of the entry pass, kicked in by Brian Russ. Gensel winds it back to the top. Letang, McCann in that spot, right to the middle. Rust, he scores! Brian Rust! Power play goal, four, nothing. Take a look at the Penguins, everything is perfect here. The entry with speed, you back up everybody, get it back to the point, watch this passing play. Around the outside, touch pass from Crosby, and Gensel. And Rust, Rust, head up, knows exactly where he's going there, and he finds the moving Sorokin in an empty space between his pads, a beautiful shot. Absolutely spectacular power play for the Penguins. Including Jake Gensel and Brian Rust. Nebraska Omaha for Gensel. Notre Dame for Rust. 
Rust announces the most recent goal score, 12 on the year. Another multi-point game for Crosby. Will tang drive and backhand score. It's Brian Rust. He's got another one. 5 nothing. He just comes in. Let's see what happens behind the net. Maybe a little bit of confusion. Varlamov should have played the puck. Gensel steals it, uses the point. There's the tip. And Brian Russ is right on the doorstep. I think he gets a little piece of that shot. Then he puts it into an area on his forehand. He's going to shuffle it around the leg and just chip it in. Those are soft hands. It's Gensel firing. A piece of it, Varlamov. Oh. Yeah, we're trying change. to change, and here comes Matt Barzell behind the defense. Cuts in, and he scores. Islanders on the board. Matt Barzell, and it's 5-1. Took advantage of the bad change. Penguins didn't know what to do. Head of steam. Puck's going to come around. Two players. You go, I go. Uh, nobody's going to go. And Barzell took the puck. He was really had a head of steam, and he was able to get it by that glove hand of Tristan Jari. With his speed, he was able to carry him from left to right very quickly. Who they know is not going to come back this season. The Penguins are expecting to get their bodies back, including Evgeny Malkin. With two goals on the night. Blows at the center. Crosby's at the end of the ship. And the Islanders capture it. With Matt Barzell. Barzell, nifty move down the wing, cutting towards the net. Stop of a rebound score. Beauvillier. And the Islanders make it 5-2. And watch his moves at the blue line. He just he just finds the puck. He's got great acceleration. We already saw it on his goal tonight. And he gets the puck to the blue paint, and Beauvillier is able to finish it off as the Islanders mix and match a couple of their lines here to get something going. And they've got the second one on the board. It was a great finish. Lots the door there, boys. Yep, there's Jake. Pulls that door in. Make sure nobody gets hit into that open door. Off the turnover, Pellick dances in. Back can't try, snagged by Tristan Jari. There, the big rangy defenseman, turn it to the backhand and get that kind of velocity. And Jari makes a great save as it went through the legs of the defenseman, Pedersen. That is a spectacular save out of nowhere. Our Super Bowl presented by AHN. Josh Bailey, guarded by CeCe. And watched by Goudreau, Bailey scans the zone, now looking for a play keeping in the back door is Barzell. Here's Eberle, he scores! Jordan Eberle, 5-3. Five, 5 on 4, extra attacker goal. It appears to be a power play if you're if you're just joining us, but it's not. It'll go down as a 4 on 4 goal, and, and don't be surprised if they put the goalie in and take him out again and try to do the exact same thing. But there's only 14 seconds left. So they will have a power play. Nelson drops it back. Wallstrom over to Bailey. There he is again at the half wall. He stick handles all the way across. Everly and off of Jari or the side of the post. Good save. Collected by Everly. Turns. Centering pass. Missed by Bailey. Rust out of the box now. And the puck comes right to him. Net empty for the HT. He scores. The Rusty Razor. Hat trick. And it's 6-3. And then into the empty cage as he came out of the penalty box. He wanted to make sure he carried that all the way to the top of the crease. He wasn't going to miss that one. And the Penguins will have five wins in seven matchups against the New York Islanders and get that much closer to first place in the East Division. Yeah, well, which it's... should set up a great showdown on Monday. This one is over. 6-3, final score. Pens win it.